Hey guys, welcome to Tech Sector Media, where we help you get the best out of your tech. Today, we shall be reviewing a new laptop I just recently bought for college called the Dell Inspiron 15 Model 5566. In this video, I will not only give a basic review, but also show you how to set it up from start. So let's get this video started. Right here we have a Dell laptop with Intel Core i3 7th gen processor, which is the latest of its generation. On the left side of this beauty, we have our charging port, ethernet port, one HDMI port, one USB 3.0 and SD card slot. While on the right side, we have our optical drive, uh, two USB 2.0 slots and our headphone jack. Over here on the bottom, we have our max audio speakers and right here is our power brick. So getting into this actual video, what we have to first do is plug in our laptop. That little light right there lets us know that's charging. Once we have it all started up, we're gonna have this loading screen right here. Very lovely. We're gonna pass by that because it actually takes just a little bit to load up. Right now it's still doing its process, which is, there we go. Hi there. Well, hello to you too, laptop. So right here we just have a few information that we have to put in. What is your home country slash region? Already has a preset for the United States. Then the second one is what's your preferred app language? It's already preset to English. So then right after that, well, let me adjust real quick. All right, there we go. Now you guys can see. What keyboard layout would you like to use? It's also preset for US. Pretty much everything's pretty much preset. The only thing we probably have to change is the very last one. But you got to pick your, you know, time zone. So let's go ahead and uh, get on to the next page from here. So another loading screen. Here's the legal stuff. Pass by it. I mean, if you want to read this whole thing, you can. But honestly, it's not needed. So as we go forward, get going fast. We're going to customize our settings here a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and click this off. That's for Skype don't really need Skype uh, these are just a little bit more of the stuff this help and support section right here will let you know specifically what each button would allow you to do so let's continue turning this off we don't want apps using our advertising ID I mean I personally just would click it off because why would you want a bunch of advertisements they're gonna specifically advertise to what you actually browse for then on the next part of the connect, uh, customize settings, I'm going to click this one off, which is automatically correct to suggest it, connect to suggested open hotspots. We don't want to connect to any open hotspots that could leave room for hacking. Um, you don't want to temporarily connect either. I mean, if you want to see if there's a paid network, sure, but otherwise it's not needed. Moving on to this part right here. It's browse protection and update. We're going to go ahead and turn this one off. We don't want to get updates from and send updates to other PCs that are on the internet that we are connected to. So let's go ahead and uh, get to the next step from here. We have another loading screen. Very lovely, very lovely. So as we get into this, make it yours. So right here, it's asking you to sign in with your Microsoft account or create a new one. So if you already have one, then perfect. Go ahead and skip this step. I mean, log in, do whatever you gotta do. If not, right here at the bottom, it says no account. So we'll go ahead and click on create one. Come on mouse, catch up with me. There we go. All right, so we're gonna go on to the next step from here. Once you click next, it says use Windows Hello instead of your password. It, this one I honestly would suggest using basically instead of using a normal password you're just using um, basically a pin your pin could be with letters or numbers and stuff like that but it's essentially more protected oh my goodness excuse me so right here we have our pin set up I'm gonna go ahead and just bypass this real quick you guys can see how long it is, but you can make it pretty much as long as you want. I was able to fill up that whole section plus a little bit extra. And I mean, it's that's honestly the best way I could think of actually having your computer set up. It's harder for hackers to, or people just trying to get onto your network 
to actually go ahead and uh, break your codes. So after we click next, it's get your files here, there, and everywhere as the Google OneDrive. Next after that is Cortana, which is freaking amazing. It's like another Siri. Cortana could be really helpful or it can't. Uh, it's really a preference wise thing. It's not needed to be turned on, but if you want to, like I did, you could have it turned on. It's a pretty useful feature. So skipping past more of that loading stuff, it comes to your PC has update waiting. So this is an update for Windows 10. We'll go ahead and just uh, click to continue. It checks and makes sure that your PC is all set up with the proper space and everything like that to be able to have the update. Click on next from there. 0% starting the update. So we're gonna go ahead and cut closer towards the end here. We're on 71% now. We're gonna actually click this bottom button to go to our main screen where we are welcomed by this advertisement from Dell. Basically talking about their Inspiron. Uh, if you wanna register it, you can get like 3% uh, rewards it says. Uh, next after that we have an explore section. Just giving you a little bit more information about your laptop if you choose to go on that and then over here on software it's pretty cool you get a one year McAfee protection along with uh, 20 gigabytes of space free for one year of Dropbox if you did choose to sign up for one as a new user down here at the bottom we have our own app store you won't find every single app you would on your phone on here certain ones just you can't put on your laptop but this is actually a pretty fun and uh, useful thing. I've downloaded quite a few stuff from here. Uh, go ahead and exit out of this. Right down here on the bottom, we'll go ahead and click on our next section, which is our files tab. Yes, I opened up too, don't worry. I'm still a noob. So we'll go ahead and exit out of this completely now. The next section right under it, it would be what's called Microsoft Edge, which is Windows 10's um, updated Internet Explorer pretty much. It's supposed to bring faster speeds. Uh, if you want to use this, you can. I personally just went ahead and uh, got Google Chrome. Google Chrome is a very trusted browser for me. I had no problems with it. Not too sure about Edge. I've used it a little bit, but I have a Norton protection, so it doesn't cover Edge. Open up a new tab real quick. You see the layout. Just a nice little feed. All right. All this news and stuff like that we can go ahead and just uh let's go down to the bottom back to the top there we go exit out to chang chang close all the tabs and then our next section would be where we are able to see all the windows that we have opened with the six gigabyte of ram we have in here we can actually be able to have multiple windows open uh, all the way down here on the bottom left corner, we have our actual Windows tab where it will show us different apps we have. And also on the left side, we have a scrolling bar that we go down, shows us pretty much everything we could do with our laptop. Bunch of uh, stuff over here. We have these preset spots. These could all be changed. The big squares could be smaller, smaller squares could be bigger. Bunch of extra stuff. You could extend the screen. You could shorten even more if you just want one section it's very customizable and most of that stuff on there you really don't need so over here into the settings we'll go ahead and click on this first part basically all this stuff is just for optimization right here it's just customize your display you know a bunch of different stuff on here but an x out of that and moving on if you just right click on your d-pad you can get to this Intel HD graphics control panel. Basically from here you can customize, I mean, tons of stuff. Uh, things about your power, as much display, you know, a bunch of colors and a bunch of extra stuff that you really won't need. Basically the preset modes would be just fine the way they are. Oh, click on something I don't need. Let's back out of that. And uh, I'm pretty, pretty much done with this tab. I mean, this is pretty basic stuff right here. All right, so as we go ahead and exit out of this, we're gonna go ahead and right click on our screen again. Under here, under new, you'll see new folder, shortcuts, bunch of Microsoft stuff. You know, the standard stuff you guys probably already know. A little under that, we have display settings. 
um, on here you can change uh, pretty much tons of stuff you also have a mode called tablet mode which is pretty cool I'll show you that just a little bit later uh, you can change you know multitasking settings different things you view on it uh, power and all that stuff so when we go over here to right click all the way down to the bottom personalized this is where we really have our creativity so right here we can change our background uh, a few different ones already preset you can browse for some so basically if you save some on your computer and you, there's a certain one you want on there you could go ahead and just uh, have that as your background we also have these different colors down at the bottom and we switch on to our color section when we click on different ones it just changes the colors for our windows tab that we opened up on the bottom left so uh, lock screen right here I mean there, there's just tons of stuff you could put different widgets for your lock screen uh, just so much that I honestly couldn't even explain everything to you within this one video right here it's uh, let's go ahead and just exit out of this now then so here you can see pretty much how the display would look nice sleek black background uh, this is the very bottom uh, desk bar down here so if we click on the very bottom right you'll see right here we have a few quick settings go ahead and click on this one this is tablet mode so this laptop is actually touchscreen so I can see what I'm doing with my finger I'm just uh, kind of pointing around a little bit but I was able to click on this one uh, there's just uh, multiple things you could do I mean, you should be able to get a stylus and you could draw on this as well it comes with a uh, app already built in this app would allow you to be able to do drawings I haven't looked too much into it but uh, I'm pretty sure it could be a nice cool unique feature uh, this isn't a two-on-one so it's not like you could fold it in half but if you wanted to kind of lay it sideways a little bit and uh, or upside down and just draw on it a bit then uh, you can go ahead and do that so we're gonna go back over here you know just a bunch of different stuff you can click on there's uh, this is how the display would naturally look if you did have it in tablet mode it basically pulls up that bottom windows tab completely if you click on this part right here it also gives you an orange screen uh, keyboard that you could just type in with your fingers also I mean this thing is pretty nifty it's uh, very reliable as you can see it's very responsive uh, I have no problem with this touchscreen so far not too sure if I'm gonna be using it all that too much but it seems to be a pretty cool feature so we'll get out of that out of that and uh, as you can see I bunch of different tabs open we gotta click on the X's for like each of them now uh, they had like a certain part where I was able to click on multiple and delete them all at the same time I might be able to find a way for the next video where I will show you basically everything else I've learned within the week um, a little bit more stuff about the settings a little bit more stuff about optimization uh, letting you know on the different apps I have now um, there's like OBS and all this other cool stuff you can put on here and this is also a light gaming machine so uh, I'll probably go ahead and let you guys see me install Rocket League on here which is one of my favorite games and uh, let you see how it runs on here you know down here at the bottom we have just you know a few different tabs this whole thing's actually pretty cool we'll go ahead and exit tablet mode real quick brings us to like normal screen also when you click on that it lets you know different like uh, options for your computer for that bottom right that I popped up and this is pretty much it guys I mean I've had a lot of fun with this thing so far it seems pretty amazing Dell did a pretty good job with this one especially with the price of it for $349 it wasn't bad at all especially since it comes with one terabyte yes yes you heard me right one terabyte of system memory 
All right, guys, and on that note, I'm going to go ahead and leave you here. I'll see you guys next Thursday with another brand new video. Thank you for all of the support that you have given me. 26 subscribers now, over a thousand views. Thank you so much, and I'll see you guys all later. Thank you.